We are observing the female stone crab that was in our first video and this morning she refused food. I'm going to offer her food again and let's see what happens. She is refusing food again. Now what that tells me is that she is most likely about to molt. I always know when one of our crabs, whether it be the stone crab or blue crabs, virtually all the crabs, the hermit crabs included, I always know when one of our crabs is going to molt because they quit feeding between one and two days in advance. So I expect that either tonight or tomorrow night or as late as the night after tomorrow, she will be molting. And we will have a larger stone crab and her exoskeleton for display. I am not going to sit up tonight, tomorrow night, or the night after to see if we can catch her molting. Uh, I don't have an infrared camera, and if I had the lights on, she might not molt. So, this is also behavior. She may be building a little nest of shell for herself to further protect her during molting. It's a very dangerous time for crabs. Uh, when they molt, they are totally defenseless. They have a soft skin instead of an exoskeleton. So we will observe and film her over the next couple of days. Okay, you will recall that this female stone crab quit feeding. It's now been three days since she last fed and she is now molting. You can see how the carapace has risen up and she is in the process of coming out of her old exoskeleton. I need to keep an eye on her. I don't need her getting into trouble. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lift that carapace. This is a very dangerous time for a crab when it's molting, if it gets hung up in its exoskeleton. Right now she is holding her breath. Would you hand me those tweezers that are on top there, please? This is a very inopportune moment for her to be doing this. We are open, and I have a group of folks here that I was giving the tour to. Of course, this is a treat for them. Not many people get to see this. And let me It may be too late, folks. It may be too late. She has uh, I'm very sorry. Very sad to say there is no life left in this animal. She has she has gotten hung up in her exoskeleton, which has stopped respiration, and she has suffocated. And they molt. The question was, how often does this happen? As far as mortality, it happens from time to time. I've had I've been doing this for 20 years now, and and it's happened before. Um, I'm just very sorry that it's happened with this lady because you recall she was mated and we were looking forward to her having the next generation. Is that a baby crab right here? There are small crabs that are in there that came in with the oyster shells. Those are live oysters that are in there for her to eat. Is it moving? 
what I'm going to need to do is I'm uh, I'm going to be turning the camera off now to see if I can. All right, let me see what I can do here. Okay, good news. The uh, she is alive. What I did was I removed the carapace. I took the top of her. I took the top of her shell, the top shell, called the carapace. I removed that, and what that did is allowed her to begin respiration again. Now, if you look inside of the mouth, you will see movement. Let me zoom in. You will see, well now she's not doing it, but there are little, little filaments within her mouth area that move very quickly that set up a current that pull water in through the openings. You're just going to have to wait for them. That pull water in through the openings above where her claw arms connect to her body. The water flows over the gills and out through the mouth again. That is a respiratory cycle. When the crab is molting and the carapace is up like that, that stops respiration and the crab can suffocate inside of its own shell. That has been avoided. A round of applause for the lady, if everyone, please. <laughs> can you put that back? No, I will not put that back. What she will do now is she will continue to swell in size and emerge from that old exoskeleton with a... She's emerging with a soft skin. And it will take two days for that soft skin to harden into her new exoskeleton. She still has to finish extricating herself from the lower part of the exoskeleton, but at least she's alive to do it now. So I'm going to end this video at this point. We'll follow up more later. I have to get back to the people who are here to see the estuarium.